Soroban note number six, multiplication step by step. Again, we're going to follow our main textbook by Takashi Kojima. This note is, accompanies the Soroban tutorials on our website, visual-soroban.org. We're going to dissect an easy multiplication step-by-step step through Soroban tutorial number 14 with the multiplier 23, the multiplicand 46 in example 5 of Kojima page 57. We're going to consider this uh, table from page 58 of Kojima and this uh, top legend names with the letters, the appropriate rods of the Soroban. In step one, we've entered the multiplier 23 and the multiplicand 46 in such a way that there are two vacant rods in between. In the first uh, multiplication, we multiply the two and the six to get 12. I'll refer to this as a subproduct. Uh, then we multiply the 3 and the 6 and get 18. This is a subproduct. We add, using uh, Soroban beads, the 12 and the 18 to get the first, uh, let's call this a partial product. So 12 plus 18. Notice that the unit digits of these projects are descending in a staircase to the right. So the problem is to um, be sure that these subproducts are added on the correct rods, okay? And uh, then here will be indicated in Kojima the product uh, 2 times 4 or 8 and 2 times 6 or 12. Again, the subproducts are descending to the right and we add them to the partial product 138 to get this result. 1058. So uh, again in step 4 the problem is to locate the unit digit of the subproduct in the correct rod. And notice this relative to the 2, the unit digit of the first subproduct is descending in a staircase to the left. So this uh, problem getting the correct rod is the main difficulty in Soroban multiplication. Uh, so first we consider the multiplicand 46, the multiplier 23, and we select the first digit of the multiplier and the unit digit of the multiplicand for a multiplication and we locate them somewhere to the right on the Soroban and the position is not uh, crucial. So experts will put them close to the multiplicand in order to accelerate the entire process. Now here I'm going to indicate the unit rod for this first subproduct 12 by coloring the H red. In the next step, we select the uh, second digit moving from left to right of the multiplier and again the same unit digit of the multiplicand and multiply to get the second subproduct and uh, notice that these are descending to the right, in the descending staircase. And adding those using the beads on the Soroban rods, we have 138. Now we have finished multiplying the 6 by all the digits, the 2 and the 3, of the multiplier. So this is the finish of the first partial product. And the first partial product is going to locate with its unit digit, the 8, will locate the unit digit for the final product and the end of our multiplication process. So this is also a very important rod in the whole process and so I have colored it uh, the eye rod um, purple here. 
after step 3, uh, adding we have the 23, the multiplier, and the 46, the multiplicand, we have cleared the 6 because we are finished using it for multiplying by all the digits, the 2 and the 3 of the multiplier. And then uh, it is clear that the 138 is our partial product. Now we select the second digit uh, starting from the right in the multiplicand, the 4, and we will multiply by all the digits of the multiplier one at a time starting from the left. So the 2 times the 4 is 8 and we enter that on this rod which has the relationship descending to the left stepwise from the 3 which is the red rod, the unit rod for the first subproduct, the 12 if you recall. So here important thing is to get that 8 in the right place. So adding up, then we have 938 indicated on the three rods G, H, and I of the Soroban. And in the next step, we take the same digit, the second digit, from the right of the multiplicand. And now the next digit, the second digit from the left of the multiplier, and multiply them, getting 12. And now, as before, the subproducts are in a position descending stepwise to the to the right. So getting these um, subproducts on the right rod is the key to success in multiplication on the Soroban. And adding them up using beads, we have uh, 8, 5, 0, and 1. Or the product now, 1058. And at this point, we can uh, clear the 4 from the the E-rod and what's left on the Soroban is the multiplier, 23, and the product of the multiplication, 1058. Thanks.